What is up guys, I'm here with something a bit different, a replay. I was lettering earlier on the suspect test, just trying out a team. Uh, Ray Scarf has used this team in SPL. I probably didn't snatch the uh, chomp set correct, this chomp I'm running is Scarf rocks. And I was just chilling on the ladder, I'm like I was fawned over on the ladder and I click that search battle button and then I see I get pokey aim, I, this is his all right? And I'm like oh my god. And I like, I like got so nervous, holy shit, so I finally get my chance to play with this poke game. And I'm like, oh god, I'm not ready for this. So I just lead up with Scarf Jump, looking at his team, I wanted to get Rocks up to weaken his uh, Salamence. And we will just see what happens. And um, he just goes for, I get up my Rocks here with Scarf Jump and he just goes for frustration. And blows me away, I barely lift that. Break a potential ch Sash, I'm not even sure if that's banned, but it is a ton. And now I think I go on into my helmet Changros. He might be scarfed, Doug, he know that I'm locked in, I'm not sure. No, he didn't know I'm scarfed and locked in. So it goes into Alma Mola, predicting me to go for like Earthquake or Dragon Claw or something. And here I think I just go for knockoff. I'm um, getting rid of his uh, Rocky helmet and he toxics me. Yeah, okay. So what was I predicting there? I thought he would go Heatran or... But his Heatran might be Bloom Doom. I find out later his Heatran is leftovers. So yeah, I just wanted to knock off there. Uh, the reason I didn't go for Sleep Powder is because uh, of a potential Katana in the back. Yeah, that's also why I went for knockoff, predicting Katana or Heatran. And if there are not Z-Move, I get rid of an item. And if he goes type of Coco or Katana, I cannot put that to sleep. That's why I didn't go to, for Sleep Powder. Um, I think the next turn I just go for Giga Drain, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, double out. I double out in the pins there. I'm not sure what I predicted here, let me think about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I predicted him to go to Kartana, I think Pinsir beats that when we won. But he just went for Protect. And there's like, I'm like, no, I'm not staying in here. So and now I made a catch-all play, right? I'm like, if he stays in, he either goes for Toxic, or if he switches, he goes to Tapu Coco. I was thinking about clicking off quick here, but I decided to go Magnezone, as that beats his Tapu Coco, and it also comes in for free on Toxic. As yes, I'm immune to that, and I think now I just click um, Volt Switch. And this is one of the only plays that I regret a lot here. I click Flash Can here because I think um, he might go to Diggersby, but it's pretty obvious that he doesn't know if I'm choiced yet, so going G2 in there was a smart play by him just scouting in case I go for Flash Can. Yeah, that was basically the only play I regret. Besides letting my scarf jump take that huge hit turn 1, I feel like I should've gone into Chang'e's turn 1. But getting a Brox early was nice too. So now I just Volt Switch here, predicting him to go for his rocks. And I'm Assault West anyway, so even if he goes for Lava Bloom, I left that. I already see his leftovers, so I know he's not Magma Storm, Max Special Attack. So yeah, we go for Volt Switch, get some chip on his Heatran, and I think I just bring out my... Uh, okay, I bring out my Landris, and I think I SD here. Trying to pressure his Alamomola if he decides to go to Alamomola, but he just stays in knowing that I'm double dense Landris because he already saw that I'm Rocks Chomp. And yeah, I might have maybe I should have just off quick here because this was a bit obvious that he wouldn't just let me set up, but I've, I still stand by my play. So I just click off quick here and I think he just sacks his Heatran. So yeah, well, I'm like really glad already because I'm like, yes, I didn't get six up by Pokey and yes. <laughs> and so now. He brings something to revenge me, his type of Coco, and I feel I predict HPI is here, I think. I just go into Assault with Magna Zone. And I think he crits me eventually here. Yeah, he goes for HPI, so he does nothing, because I'm AV. And now um, he goes for Volt Switch and he crits me, which is really annoying, because this is my type of Coco check, and now I'm in range to get to it, Kehoda after Rocks from T Bolt. Um, I'm not sure what I went for here, I think I went for a Flash Can, because it hits everything. Um, up. Like if I knew he would crit me I could have gone for Mirror Code and gotten the huge hit off. But yeah this uh, Magnus on I ran had Mirror Code, T-Bolt, HP Fire and Flashkin. I changed the Mirror Code to T-Bolt because it never did much. But yeah in this game clicking Mirror Code there would have been really nice. So now I know he's um, gonna click Frustration or Earthquake. So, or double switch out. But yeah I just go to Tango he playing it safe. And I think he just goes for Frustration here predicting my Tango's and crits me. This made me really upset, but I don't, I'm not sure how much it mattered, since he, he would have twit killed me anyway, but 
it has made me upset. I wanted to keep this Tangles at this point of the match because his Alamola is looking scary and I, my um, Magnuson is already getting low. I needed to check his Tapu Koko. So like Magnuson wasn't reliable enough to beat Alamola since it only has a Volt Switch. So I was like, I have to keep this Tangles. And I'm pretty sure I just I pivot out here. I don't remember into what I pivot out. It just goes into Cortana. Okay, I think I, st I stayed in. I just stayed in. Okay, I thought I would pivot out keeping this. So we see his leftover is Cortana, and I'm pretty sure he um, has defog on this. But we shall see what happens here. I, now, now I save my Changwas. I don't know. Uh, earlier I didn't have a switch into Dougie, that's why I stayed in. But I got a Landris here, these Sacred Swords. So I'm not sure why he sacred swords, maybe he predicted my Magnuson. He just wanted to kill the, the Tangrowth. And maybe Leaf Blade wouldn't have killed it. This set is a sacred sword, SD Defog, as we will see later, and uh, I think Leaf Blade, if I didn't set it already as his last move. So I bring in my Landris, and I'm pretty sure I just click uh, Earthquake here, if I recall correctly. As he brings an Armamola. Oh, never mind, a double out and a Tangrowth. Wow, I'm Jesus. See, I, do, I don't even remember that I made that godly play. So yeah, this, this actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I know Almola just walls my landers and I'm poisoned, so if I SD it becomes a 50-50 next turn. So I double out into a uh, Tangos to get region. Wow, I don't even remember that I played like Jesus in this game. Holy shit, stop me. Like, I just went Super Sage in mode since I saw that I'm playing Poké. I don't know. So now it's pretty obvious that he won't stay in here, right? So I think I go for Giga Drain and knock off. Wait, I double out again. Oh, he just goes for protect. Okay, so that was a pretty um, nice play by me because I got I got that region with Tangros and uh, I'm not sure what I predicted, but I just wanted to get region with my Tangros. I don't remember this correctly, and I was really nervous uh, during this game if I didn't state it already like even if I stated it already it's not uh, false to state it again so um I think I paused the recording real quick you guys didn't miss anything so he used protect there and then I just click I think I just click flash can and he just checked off his doggy to rocks and uh, now he can bring in his elements and then this is amazing because I get rocks on him I know he's dragging dancing up he's trying to clean me late game I just go for flash can here to get damage on his mans, put him uh, in range of to die from rocks and my pincer my pincer's quick attack and now I just take off my landers to get the intimidate but since he has moxie he will get a boost anyway like yeah I predict him to earthquake there but I just died with dragon claw uh, now that I think about it I could have maybe gone to tangles here that would have been a jesus play so I would have gone to tangles on the um on the dragon claw and then pivoted back into landers but that wouldn't have accomplished much like it's not that Landers at that, at that low health was doing anything since it like dies to everything basically so uh, yeah I'm fine with my play I take off my Landers, I am forced to go into pins and click quick attack and I think Pokemon just goes um, hard into Tabu Koko I'm not Jesus enough to over predict in the front face of a plus one attack plus one speed uh, Salmon so I just go for the quick attack if I click off quick that turn good god somebody would like I'm not that real enough so now I go into my Tabu Koko and uh, into my Magnezone, and this is where the crit from earlier really comes to hurt me because I guess the crit on Tangos didn't matter that much, but the crit earlier on my Magnezone with with his Tabu Koko Volt, which I think is pretty annoying because I li could have lived two T bolts if he didn't get that crit. So now I just two it kills. This like otherwise I would have probably gotten the kill here with Flash Can. I'll get huge damage and something like he probably would have had the second man. So I know into my I go into my tangles and he crits me again with Volt Switch. Not sure how much that mattered. Um, if he was magnet, yeah, I still think I would have lived that. So I'm like I got really mad. So now I'm like my only chance is he brings in this uh, Alamola, right? My only chance is I have to go Tabu Fini. I have to defog. So my Prince uh, comes in at 75. I need that healthy, and I have to like somehow set up with my Prince and break through his team. So I just go for defog and. He goes for Wish if I recall correctly. And this following turn I just go for Moonbath, which is not the correct play. Um it's pretty obvious that he's gonna like pass his wish to his katana. So if I just double switch here in the pincer or in the guard jump, um 
that would have been nice for me. Actually, I don't have a fire move on a guard jump. I changed my set. I don't I might have a fire move now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe Moonblasting was a fine play because I didn't want him wish passing into Tapu Koko or um, Salamence, even though Tapu Koko probably lifted it anyway. But you guys will see. I just go for Moonblast. It does nothing to Kartana. Maybe it's a bogey spread. I'm not sure. Actually, it is 40%. Did he reveal D forget? I'm not sure. So you will really forget. So I just go hard into my pins. This is my only chance to beat this thing. And he goes. I just pause the recording. Let's go back to turns on this. So I go hard pins here on his SD. And now I'm just like, hopefully I can live a hit and go for frustration and get some damage. And I thought I lost the game. And then he reveals he only has Leaf Blade to hit me. And he, t he took that frustration decently well. So I'm not sure if that is like. If he's like bulky katana, I really didn't make any cards. The only card I made was earlier was this Salamence when I was uh, like I was trying to avoid getting swept by the I made some cards, but other than that I didn't cog anything. So now I'm like I have to SD because I have to like the only chance I win this is I have to um like my scarf guard jump can clean up late game if I get rid of all Mola and the problem is Tabu Kuku. Yeah, I can revenge Tapu Koko with Scarf Jump, but the thing is, as long as it's Alamomola and uh, Mance, that is not happening. So I see that he only has Leaf Blood to hit me, and I think I realize I have to third stance up, and then I can run through his team with Pinsir, as long as he doesn't crit me. And like, his, he only has Leaf Blade, right? And he has a second sword. So I just SD up here. I think the other move is Defog and Bruce or something. And I pray to God that I don't get crit, he already crit me three times. I SD, I eat this up. He goes for leaf bed. I should lift the next leaf bed on 3%. I pray to God he doesn't creep me. And he doesn't creep me, so I SD up again. And now I just click a quick attack to pick off his Cartana. And then quick attack picks off his um, his offensive ones. And his Alamomola dies to frustration. I was pretty sure I had to SD twice to Oko Alamomola and to kill Tabu Koko with quick attack. So he just brings out his mans and falls to quick attack. I don't know why he didn't try to send out his Coco too. But he had Scarf Jump in the back anyway, so... Since he clicked X there and said GG, he didn't even send out his uh, type of Coco. I assume he knows I was Scarf Jump. Maybe he was Scarf Digsby. Let me actually cut that for you guys really quick. So I just cut it. I think it's Digsby's Bandit. Because it says it has 85 to 100 to guard jump. To offensive guard jump. Not exactly sure, so he had a 6% chance to kill me. So he didn't know that I was Scarf Jump. At the first I thought he might be Scarf Digsby and knew I was Scarf Jump, but I guess he just knew I would die to his type of Coco without a quick attack. Maybe he was just hoping that I misclick or something. But yeah, I was really glad that I could uh, play, finally play Pokey in. Uh, I've been watching his videos for like four years or something I, I don't know exactly maybe four years maybe four and a half years um maybe like around x and y came out maybe a few months later i don't even remember how long that is ago maybe it's only 3.5 years maybe it's 4.5 years and i'm actually glad that i beat him um if you didn't crit my mana zone i think i had this uh, game like a bit safer this end game was so scary because leaf Bell has a high crit critical hit ratio and if he pit my crit my pencil once um I would have lost, but yeah, I didn't play, make any huge misplays, I'm glad how I played for the most part, um, yeah, like maybe could have like kept my guard jump healthy at the beginning when the tank was on his digger speed, but that's just like hindsight, I don't know, like getting rocks up was like amazing early game because I got some chip on his heatron and on his, I mean the chip on heatron didn't matter, but the chip on the mans was really nice, so it was with the flash cam that I got on the mens later, but my minus on it was in range to die from quick attack, which was really important. I actually played like Surgic with my friend T. We went on a different alt, and I think I beat like Surgic too, but we, we lacked like Surgic. And he said, Click X if you're sorry, or click like a move that loses you the game. And then we were like, Nah, nah, nah. You didn't click X versus Jammed when you hexed him. I know Jammed versus like Surgic was for SPL, and this is just for on the ladder for. Like this is Dark Trio Suspect Test by the way. So I really hope, I really hope Pokey will upload this. And if you guys uh, see me in that video, like I hope you guys like can make some noise for me in the comment section. Team Dark Rich, uh, showing the flag. 
showing we are here, showing we can uh, beat the big boys. I mean, I know this is just ladder and pokey and just like uses teams he gets from his friends sometimes, or sometimes he gets teams, sometimes he builds himself, but most teams he gets from his wall, from his viewers, or from like, I think Snowy used to build for him, or like from maybe some other teammates from the wolf pack, from the SP. Not sure how he gets his team, where he gets his teams from exactly, but yeah, I'm really glad how this worked out and just in general with this day. Like, um, I built another team myself um, with my friend after this with Zadwa, and I think we are 12 and 2 on the suspect ladder at the moment. Um, we were like catching wins mostly. The only losses we had were to like bad matchup, and yeah, we have replaced like trick room and we had offense. And we didn't have Torn to stop them from getting a trick and we just got blown away. And we didn't get hexed much, which was amazing. And we just had a fun time laddering. So um let me know. Let me know what you think about this. If you like want me to make uh replay uploads more often. Um I'm kinda sad that I didn't record this live, but I feel like if I would have recorded this live I would have misplayed. And I'm just glad how this battle went. Like I know I'm repeating myself, but I never thought I would have like the chance to play Pokemon and actually beat him. Which oh god, that was like that felt so good. Like when he crit me, like he crit me three times, right? I don't think the hex was game deciding. Besides on the Magnuson, like I already said, that was really annoying. That could have been potentially game deciding. But yeah, I was like almost like if he crit me again in late game, I would have probably like threw my computer out the window. I was like almost getting super mad but then phew we won we pulled through so yeah I wanna like encourage you again make some noise if Pokemon hopefully uploads that video because I'm on my like I'm on I'm on my all tier test and rest I'm actually 8, 28 and 2 on the ladder check out the shot on live I uploaded a few hours ago so yeah this is not my Doc Rich account so if you watch the Pokemon video and you don't know this account you will not notice it's me make some noise for me in the comments I know hashtag team dog which just on I will like comment on that video if you upload it because it, it was like honestly Pokey I'm like he's just a really like he does amazing job I, lo I love watching his videos and like how he explains everything and like when I was bad at Pokemon I, I also learned something from him like I really feel like he's a decent player and he doesn't deserve to be owned for an SPL I mean all the hacks going on is such bullshit but yeah, I've been rambling on for way too long. Um, check out my Twitch in the description. I might start streaming really like in the next days. Just I, I don't want to just stream now because I don't have like many followers. Like no one even knows about my Twitch. So if I get like 50 f followers there, maybe I will start streaming with my friends and call or alone, just chilling. If I just want to feel like casually laddering and not like try hiding too much for a recording or something I just hop on Twitch or something and yeah if you enjoyed this uh, thank you if you watched uh, until now uh, if you enjoyed this uh, please leave a like if you want to see more of these uh, replays or let's leave a comment if you uh, like lives more or replays but yeah if I don't record obviously and I had a good battle and I can show it off to you like, I feel like this was a pretty decent match I played well besides a few little like major miss not major few little misplays at the beginning or mid game i'm rambling on for way too long i'm dog which i'm signing out smash that like button thanks for the support we will hit 400 subscribers in a bit we think we need 14 subscribers to hit 400 so this is amazing i'm dog which i'm signing out and peace friends